Hello, welcome to episode five of In the Art Lab. During this episode, we are going to introduce you to our Photo One students. They have been working hard learning the basics of photography and Photoshop, and they recently participated in a merge project where they took three different images and put it into Photoshop. Then they learned how to use the layer blend mode to blend them all together to make a magical piece of art. The tutorial was very simple. I think the hardest part was getting the pictures all onto one file. So then you have three different layers and each layer has a different image on it. Uh, once I did that, they were good to go. Um, so after everybody was said and done, uh, we used Flipgrid. Uh, if you've never heard of it, check it out. A lot of educators use it. Um, it was not super friendly for us. I need to keep working on getting that uh, ironed out. I don't know what happened, but it was very difficult. Uh, we had some students having cell phone issues. And then, of course, um, we're not able to use the video function on our students' one-to-one -one Chromebooks, so we had to use cell phones. There was just a couple different issues. Um, but we were able to get it done for the most part, and what I did was I got on there and I downloaded everything. They each kind of introduced their project, showed their original images, explained what they did, and showed their final images and reflected on it. So I hope you take a moment to watch some of it. Uh, feel free to fast forward through here and there because I did download and include everyone, so I know it's uh, probably going to be a longer episode. Uh, but I want to make sure that every student has a voice and technology is a great way of doing that and using this video piece is a great way of doing that. Uh, so please um, enjoy the amazing artwork that these Photo One students are creating and I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, we'll see you here soon. For the merge project, the first picture I chose was a picture of the ocean that I took on spring break. I thought it was a really pretty picture. And then the second picture I chose was a picture um, I took of a wall with a pretty tapestry and some lights. And then the third picture I chose was a picture that I took of my friend Kate. And I thought that I chose them all because I thought they would look really well together. And I saved them to the drive and put them on Photoshop and merge them together and then mess with the colors and this is my final product. And if I were to change anything, it would probably be the second picture because this picture because it just was hard to make the color look right, but overall I like it and I, th I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna add another layer, Control V. And it'll do this weird thing. So I'm just, I'm just gonna hit Control T. Make it the size of my photo. Go over here. Hit multiple, mi multiply, and then there's that. And I'm going to change the opacity to 80. Okay. Then I'm going to hit Control T. If I can get my brother here. Control T, and I'm going to make it the size here. Right there, should be good. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to hit overlay. I'm going to move this to where I want it, so right there will be good. Then I'm going to hit Control T again, and I'm going to move my other brother to where I want him. And then I'm going to hit this up here, and then I'm going to hit Apply. And I'm going to go back to my other brother, and I'm going to hit Opacity, 
and I'm going to be 80. Mm, 60. There. And there we have <coughs> this, whatever this may be. This was a very long video, it took four minutes to make. Probably like this summer a lot. This is my original one, or my edited video. And this is my foreground, this is my background, this is my middle ground. And then what I did was I first downloaded the three photos onto Photoshop, and then I copied and pasted the middle ground and the foreground onto the background. And then I used Control T to resize the photos to make them all on top of each other. And then I turned off the visibility and multiplied the middle photo. And then the middle photo, I turned the opacity onto 60%. And then I just started messing with the opacity for the other photos. And then what I wish I could fix on this is I wish I did the middle ground a little bit more brighter so you could see it more. So these are the three pictures that I used for the merge project. Um, and this is what I made. And I made that by having the tire and the dog as the top two layers and then made them opaque so you could see in this background. Um, and the thing I like about it is that you can see my dog. The thing I don't like about it is that it kind of looks creepy, and if I did it again, I probably wouldn't use my dog. These are the three photos that I chose for the merch project. I chose New York, because it's a great, like, standing kind of area. Rainbow, because it would have been, like, good looking, like, rainbow in the sky. And then my nephew, because my nephew is adorable. This is the final thing. All I had to do is get them all the same size and then make them, like, merge them. And then you can size them up and all that. Oh, I would have been able, like, if I could have removed things in it, but, yeah, there you go. So these are the three videos I used. I used a picture of the sky that I took in the car as background. I thought it was really pretty. I used a picture of my cat that I took for one of the homeworks because I love my cat more than anything. And then a picture of my friend's little sister. Uh, I used a picture of her because she's absolutely adorable and I love her to death. So first I uh, selected this, I put them all into the same project and on separate layers, and I turned off the visibility on the one with Julie and went to the one with my cat, and I selected multiply and put it to 60%. And then I went to the one with Julie and turned and I turned the visibility back on, then put it to overlay, and also put the opacity at 60%. This is the final product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, if I were to change anything, I would probably do a different picture of Julie because the one that I chose wasn't really a good one anyways. <clears throat> I really like how the uh, flower is in the middle of the bricks and like on the trees. It's really cool. And I would have never thought to use those three things combined to make a merge project. The first picture I chose was my cousin on a horse because she is very important to me and she means a lot to me. So I thought that would be cool if I would use her. 
The next picture I chose was a picture of the sky because it was really pretty and the colors merged together was very pretty. The last picture I chose was a picture of a butterfly because it was very cool at the moment so I took a picture of it and I thought the three pictures would be cool to merge them so that's why I picked those three pictures. Hi, so okay, so we were supposed to um, layer different photos, three different photos, to create a whole new piece. So here are my three photos. This is a photo of a glass blown sculpture at the Chihuly exhibit in Seattle, Washington. So is this one, it's just, this. I picked these because the first one was, um, here I'll go back to it, was um, bold but still pretty simple with the colors. And then I chose this one because of the color. Um, it's very vibrant and there's a lot going on, which I really like. That was also at the Chihuly exhibit. This is a photo I took in of the Space Needle in Seattle. Um, I really liked it because it kind of just shows my trip here. Um, so I, these were three of my um, favorite things in Seattle, so I really wanted to just make a layered photo um, with those. So here it is. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it's really cool because you can see the, the white sculpture in the background, um, and the color really pops through, which I think is really, really cool. And of course, the Space Needle. Um, so we merged these images by simply opening them on Photoshop. Um, I had to crop them and then I layered them on top of each other and changed the opacity of each image to really make the effect either bolder or uh, less bold and less stand out. Um, so this is a really great project. Um, I th I'm really, really happy as like it turned out, like I said, um, so yeah. I chose this picture because I thought that it was cute and um, how I did it was I went into Photoshop and then I merged them all together and then I turned them to overlay and then um, I chose what percentage I wanted it to be at and then I decided it would be this because it looked like it's all together. Hi, my name is Bracey, and the three images that I chose were one of the Washington Monument, one of the Washington National Cathedral, and one of a nice sweetheart named Casey. I really like taking pictures of Casey. Now, what I did to merge all these together is I just layered them all into one and then adjusted the contrast of each one, and that was about it for merging them. And what I really like about the image is how there's a nice view of the monument reflecting in the lake and then the cathedral popping out in the background. And then if you look closely, you can see Casey. But if there's anything I could do different, I would probably take a better picture of Casey rather than just a quick little snapshot. For this project, we chose three pictures to merge them into one. We had to have a background picture, and this is mine. I thought it was really cool the way the sky looked with the colors. It was kind of like soft. We had to have a top picture, which I chose a Ferris wheel because it was like a clean picture. Like there was no clouds, it was just neat. And then we had a middle picture, and I love worshiping, and I took this when I went to a church camp, and I thought it would match well with the other two, with the colors. To make the merge, we copied and pasted the middle picture and the top picture to the background picture. We then changed the middle picture from normal to multiply and changed the opacity to 60%. We then clicked on the top picture and ch changed it from normal to overlay. And then that creates them all into one. and that it gives you your merged project. 
I like my final project because it reminds me from something off of Stranger Things, which is a TV show I like. And I think it just like goes together and it's kind of like a creepy-ish look. I would change uh, the colors maybe because it's kind of dark and dull. So I might change them to brighter colors if I would redo it. But overall, that is my merch project. So, so I took these three images, put them all on one layer, then changed the opacity and the layers just <clears throat> to make it into this image. I like how it kind of contrasts, and the only thing I would maybe change is the opacity. Yeah, but all the steps are getting all the pictures into the different layers, then getting them all together in the right size, then changing opacity and stuff, and to make it all one picture. So, my three images are this, this, this. I uh, chose them because I wanted to. Uh, in Photoshop, we merged all these photos by getting them all into one tab, in different layers. Uh, resized them and then changed the opacity of the middle one. And uh, this is my final one. Well, this is my picture. It's It's got a sea lion, a jeep, and a restaurant in it. I chose these things because they make me happy. And next time, I would probably choose different pictures to like match the same genre. This is my merge project. The starting pictures were Hank, English Bulldog, Fireworks on the 4th of July, a uh, train dessert, and then that was the final image. It wasn't what I hoped it would be. Um, if I could redo it all, I would probably do better pictures. Yeah. Hi, I'm Casey, and I chose a picture of my dog, Devin, and the background is a picture of the lake. Um, I put the background as the lake and I merged all the photos together. And uh, what I would change differently is I have two subjects in there and I'd rather just have one instead of two because it looks weird. This was the first photo I selected to merge in my final project. This was the second photo I chose. This was the third. This was the final outcome of my photo after I changed it and merged it in Photoshop. To make it, it was pretty simple. I just changed the opacities after I layered all the photos on top of each other. Hey guys, that's my my blog. It's called Things of Love. And this one project that I created. My name is Cecilia. And the... The project that we need to do was create three pictures in only one. The project number one is flowers and other picture and other picture. We create this fine art in Photoshop. We just put one front, one in the middle and one in the background. The idea was create the art that makes together and it looks so pretty and yeah the other project is the same idea but with different type of pictures this image is nice this is the background and that one is the background it's very simple to do it's just um change the opacity that all the pictures 
and you make this out of cyanide, fine art. It's pretty easy, and it's on my blog, Things of Chan, Things of Love. Hi, I'm Devin. So my picture was of a table that I took a picture of in the sunset, a picture of a flower in my backyard, and then a picture of my girlfriend posing at Pioneer Park. And I took all these and kind of layered them and put them all together into one and adjusted the contrast of all these pictures. That way they looked the way that they do now. If I could do one thing differently, it would be make find a way to make the flower pop out more because it doesn't really look like it's there. But other than that, I'm happy with how it turned out. So I chose this picture because it has a lot of like color with like the green and stuff. So yeah. And then this one I thought was really cool because of the fading and the color in the sky. And then this one is just really cool because like of the distance and stuff. And then the final project was really cool and I really like how it turned out. Um, the only thing I would do different is probably pick some like different images to like do with it. But yeah. As a background, I used a bridge and then I used two skylines of Chicago and ended with this, making it look like it's through a window. How we did this was you took three images and put them on a blank slide and then you changed the opacity. I chose these images because they were all nice backgrounds. I like that it looks like you're looking through a mirror and it looks very different, but I would change this picture out for something else. This is the final version of my merge project. <laughs> Basically what we did was take three images, one was our background, and then we merged the other two images onto the background. How many of you can figure out it was just how do I move that picture? Oh I don't want that. This was the original background image. This was one of the sunflower pictures. This was the other flower. Um <laughs> what I like about this is though um you can see the sunset still through the background. And if I did change something, I would make the sunflower go like from here all the way over and maybe make this one smaller because I don't like how they clash. I chose these three images because they all have green. On the last one, what I could change, I wish I could see the cup in it. These are the three photos I chose for my merge project. And this oh, is the no. final one. I like it because it shows the background as the sky very well. These are the images for my merge project. And this is the final product. I made this image by taking the picture of a table and my cat. And made the, these two layers transparent and I like that you can see my cat in the sunset that I use for the background and I don't like the texture of the table so if I had to change it, I would change the texture I used. These are my three pictures, a waterfall, flowers, and a person. The person is because I needed a subject to flower, I thought it would come from the background a little more, and the waterfall looks very nature -y. So what you're going to do, after you put them all together, and make like this, you're going to go to second grade, and go multiply, and 16. Oh, 
60, and then this one you're going, it's going to be overflow, and it's going to be a 100. Okay, so this is your final image. This looks exactly like my other image that I did, final image. And I did this twice and changed the order, and I think this one's the best. There's nothing I think I would have changed. Maybe would have picked a different background. Uh, hi, my name is Isaiah, and the three images I chose were a mountain, then a beach, and then like clouds. And I chose these images because I felt like they could go somewhat good together. And what we did was this project was like a merge project, so we went into Photoshop to blend three layers to try to make them look like one image. And here's the final picture. And I like it, but if there was one thing I'd have to change, it'd be to like crop this black out and then like try to incorporate it so it doesn't show this black right here. And that is all. For my merge project, I chose these three photos. And then here's my final image. I wouldn't change anything on my merge project because I like the way the sky kind of blends in with everything and then how I, as a younger kid, blend in with the sky like overlooking the beach. And that's my merge project. Alright, my name is John Culver and these are my three images. Um, I chose these images because I thought they would go well together. Um, and I thought this bird right here would be a, a good um, piece in the image. Um, in Photoshop, how we made this was we just blended these three images together to make one image. Um, and this was the image that I made. Uh, if I could change something, I... Honestly, I probably wouldn't, because this is a masterpiece, and it looks amazing. Yes. So, this is my background picture. This is my later two picture, because I thought that it was a cool one there combined. And then this is my layer one picture. And then this is what it looks like combined. So that's me. Um, these three three images. And what I did, I fairly messed up my face and uh, overlaid the canvas above of it to create this. Um, not very much. <laughs> um, well, I like how there's like mist mystical in it, but I do not like the images that I used. Maybe I could have chosen more images that relate to one another possibly so yeah if I could do it again I would change the picture this picture I don't like it in there so yeah that's pretty much project Hi, this is my merge project. On the left, you see my original images. It's a classroom photo, a beach photo on a boat, and another beach photo. And um, the reason I chose these was because I thought these two background photos would look really good with like the window and like the reflection and just the window frames. I thought it looked pretty cool blended together. And um, the process to make the edited image included 
copying your background layer or copying your two layers onto your background layer which in this case my background layer was this image and once doing that you uh, made the top layer 30% opa opacity and then you made the second layer 60% opacity so it'd make a nice balanced look for your edited Im image and here is the final product I think it looks really cool it does look a little bit dodgy with the book right there that is one thing I would change if I were to do it again I would choose a different image with more or less less objects in the background but yeah, that is my merge project. So that's my first image. It's this guy at the football game. That's my second image. It's my necklace. That's my third image. It's my dog. I chose all these images because it's something that I really like. It's my final image. I combine all three. I do really like this image. The only thing I would change is I'd crop out the carpet in the back from the picture with my dog. So to get to this final image, I had to take the second layer, which was my necklace, and change the blend mode to multiply and put the opacity down to 60%. And then take the third layer and put the blend mode to overlay, and there's my picture. The project that we were assigned with is called Emerging Project. We were assigned to get three pictures and put them into Photoshop and combine them all into one picture. The photos I used were a picture of the sunset. This is from Washington, D.C. And then this is from Florida. And I combined them all to one and that's what it looked like. If I could change anything about this, I think I would want to add more color to the final product. This is my merge project and I used this picture that I took in Florida because I really liked it and I thought it was pretty. I like how the sun kind of like the beams you can see them. I chose this picture because it's a picture of brick and it has texture and I thought it would look really good with the other two pictures I chose. It's from my house. This is a picture of my best friend Beth. I chose her because I thought it was a really pretty picture even though she doesn't like it. And this is my final picture and I really like how it turned out because I feel like it makes Beth look really pretty. The process that we took is that we took three pictures, put them on Photoshop, and then we put them all onto one of the pictures and it had three layers and then we made sure all three layers were the same size. And then we made the first layer not visible and went to the second layer. When we did that, we made that second layer and we multiplied it and then we went back to where the third layer was visible, like the top layer, and then we made that one an overlay and then we can mess with it and make all the pictures darker or lighter. And I like how it turned out, but I wish I would have chose something other than the brick because the brick is really dark. And it was hard to figure out how to do it. Record it on your phone if it's not These are the three images that I chose to make my merge project with. Photo one fall. We took each picture and changed the visibility of each one to make sure one shows through better than the other. This was my final image that I came up with. I think it turned out really good. I like the, how the stadium shows behind the stands. For my merge project, I did three pictures in Washington, D.C. And that's my first one. That's my second one, and that's my third one, and this was the final result in the merge, and I would not personally change anything, because I like how you can see all three pictures together. Alright, so this is my first picture, pretty dope. My second picture, also pretty dope. It made that picture, which is kind of creepy, but it's still dope. So, I mixed this picture with this picture into that picture and it made it dope. <laughs> and then um, I had to, um, what's it called? What's that thingy? Um, I did something to it was like, mess with how it, I forget what it's called, overlay. And I had, um, 
multiply. And then yeah, it made that and it was pretty dope. Oh, it messed with the opacity. Yeah. I did the Washington Monument, the ocean, and the sunset because I felt like they would blend well together because I wanted the ocean to look like it was under the sunset. And then the Washington Monument, I figured it would look cool like in the middle. And so my background was the sunset and then I put the ocean on top of that and then I put the Washington Monument monument on top of that. And so it worked how I thought it would. Um, it looks like the ocean is under the sunset, and it looks like the Washington Monument has a sun sitting on top of it. So it's actually really cool. And, um, so when I did that, this is the image that I got. So if you can see the sunrise right here is on top of the ocean it looks like it's in the ocean it's really cool and um this is the washington monument so we were assigned with choosing three photos to merge in photoshop and these are the three photos i chose and i chose these three photos because i thought it would look cool with him opening the door I chose this to put a green tint on it. This is the final product. And the only thing I would do differently probably is take the, get rid of the photography right there somehow. But it was pretty easy to do. I just had to choose three photos, put them in the Photoshop, and then make two of them see through. And that was it. These are the three pictures that I chose. Here's the merge project, full three of them combined. Um, first, I set them all into layers, all three of these images. Then you change the opacity and we got this final image. Um, I would have changed the sky because it appears way too blue and this is way too green and some of them are very faint, but overall it's pretty good. For my merge project, I used these three pictures, and I just combined them all to make that one. Here's one of my original images, here's another, and the other. I put them all together, and you get this. Okay, so these are my three images that I used. And what to make my final project product in photoshop we copy and pasted the three images onto each other and then changed the opacity and of the images so that they merge and then this is my final product um i like the colors in it but i don't like that the trees are so like prominent in my picture and then the other two things aren't as so that's what I would change the thing I like about this picture is the paint splatters in the background. The thing I don't like about this picture is the fact that we had to use three pictures, and so it looks kind of weird. pictures I used. I used these pictures because my phone's broken and they were the only ones I had in the Google Drive. This would be my final image. I copied these photos all into one and 
change the opacity and the settings to make them merge and be able to see through. Um, the final image is very pretty. I really like how the dock, you can still see it through. And if I could change anything, I'd use better photos. For sure. Okay, this is my merge project, and I chose these photos because I like the way they look. And this was the final outcome when like all of them were blended together. And if I could change anything, I'd probably change, like I don't really like how orange it is. Um, I would probably change the photos with, they have different colors, like they all have different colors. So if I could change it, I would make it with one of like the same color. The images I used were a picture of this building in LA. And the second one was a picture of a record player with a rose on it. And the third one was my bunny Hemsworth. And I chose these images because that building was pretty cool. And my record player with the flower is pretty cool too. And the picture of my bunny is cute, so. What I did in Photoshop was I changed the opacity of all of these images to make them look decent together. And I also added a white background so it wasn't completely red. This is the final image and I like that you can like kind of see Hemsworth my bunny in it. What I don't like is that you can't even see like the record player or like the rose or anything in the picture and it's really sad. Um, if I did this again I would change the picture and would not use the record player with the rose because you can't even see it in the picture and you can see the red from it and I'm not really a fan of how that looks. Thanks for listening. Ha ha ha. The three pictures that I used for the March Critic was first I used this picture right here. It's a tree. I used this picture. Second, I used this picture but as my background. And then third, I used this. And so my final image was this after I got done creating the image in Photoshop. What I really liked about this is how I created it and I used my own steps to it. But what I really think I could have done best was to cut this out and use the pink as my background. But I really feel proud about this and I think I did an amazing job. And I would also cut out the screen part. But other than the rest, I thought I did an amazing job. The subjects that I had for my photo, because I was a camp counselor over the summer, and I thought that the head counselor looked really funny here, so that's why I chose that photo. My second subject was this, my dog. His name is Otis, and he looked really cute in this photo. And then the background was the photo of the waves, because I thought that they looked really cool. So what I did was I hit Control A to select all this photo, Control C to copy it, then I hit Control V on this photo, and then I hit Multiply to blend it. And then I did the same first three steps over here, but instead of hitting Multiply over here, I hit Layer, or Overlay, sorry. And this was the final result. I like how it turned out, but I just wish that I could have blended it better right here because I think that it would have looked a lot better. But I love how it kind of looks natural, even though it doesn't look like completely natural, obviously, because they're not under the water. But I like how it goes like over their faces, and I like and I just like it overall. There are a couple things that I wish I could do, like make these pictures more vivid, but overall I like how it turned out. I mean, it was kind of hard just to make it look good, but entirely it wasn't that incredibly difficult. It was like, I, don't, I mean, I said the process is difficult, but I just meant like 
trying to make it look decent and not look like I just mushed three pictures together and instead make it look like one coherent image. It was hard because the, the colors, I mean these go together I guess because they're plants, but like this, not so much. I just, cause I just called it Gerber Baby because I thought it was kind of funny. And then, I mean it looks good, but you can see Grace's face up there. If I could do anything better, I like the second one I did more, but because I think the colors went together more and it had a more coherent theme. Because I think a theme is good for an image because it makes more sense if there's a theme to it. And, um, so uh, if I could do anything better, I would probably choose images that go together more, that make more coherent sense. Um, other than that, that's really it. I don't know why I thought this video would take so long, but, yeah, um, probably choose better pictures too, because this was taken before I changed it, and it's not in square format, so it was hard, and it looks stretch out when I edited it to be the same length as these ones, but I'm not incredibly disappointed with the time, so, yeah. Okay, so basically what I did for the merge project is I went over to uh, Photoshop and what I had and did with the photo is I took the background image of the color of the favorite the favorite color project and I basically used this so that I could get the outline of my dog Kylo into it so what I did and ended up merging is I ended up merging him with it the only thing I would have probably changed uh, with it was probably the contrast and the color with the back so that he could pop out a bit more because as of right now, it it looks like he's actually there, but if, if in any case I would have been able to make the picture stand out a bit more, um, I would have changed the contrast and the color so that it popped a bit more. Um, that way you could have seen him better, because as of right now, it just looks it looks a bit blurry for the picture. I mean, obviously you can tell there's a difference and you can see him, but it, it just doesn't look right like about on these edges. Like, you can see everything else pop out, because the contrast I kept the same, but with his, I tried to make him stand out, but there was no way, because considering the lighting, it made it hard for him to stand out, even with the 100% that I kept, so, I just think I would have gone back, maybe made this a bit darker, taken the photo again, and then... I would have left it, but other than that, I think that's probably the only thing I would have changed, so. Okay, this is one of the pictures I chose. It's my little cousin. This is the next picture. It's a sunset, and then this is a picture I took in the photography classroom. It's a heart made out of toilet paper. It didn't even go into my final project, if you can't tell, but basically it's my little cousin conjoined with both of them and you can see like the trees and stuff but you can't even see the heart so it was kind of pointless but yeah that's my project I took three different pictures and used the overlay layer to blend them together okay these are the three pictures I used and I chose these pictures because I thought it would look good because they're all on a beach but didn't work out very good. <laughs> so I copy and pasted all these on top of each other to create this. <laughs> kind of looks like a in loving memory of these people. <laughs> but that's what I'd change is different pictures because I don't want to I don't want them to look like they're dead. <laughs> So that's what I would change. So what I did for this image is that I took three pictures onto one and edited it to make it all visible. What I would change on the picture is make the sunset bigger and maybe the opacity darker and make the people stand out more. So I took three, three pictures off my camera roll and merged them into one. And if I needed to change something, I probably would make one of my subjects a little bit stronger and change the opacity so that you can see one of my subjects and make it a little more stronger so you can see clearly what I'm doing. 
this is my first picture and this is my second the reason why and this is my third these the reason why i like these are because they're all outdoorsy and they like sunsets and water and stuff like that and then this is what it turned out to be and i like it because you can see the water splash i don't like it because the third picture is just far behind and you can't really see it very well and then i really like the sunset and so that is my merge project okay so i use these three pictures for my project um i chose them because of the color in the flowers and then the sun in the second one and then the trees and the third one to see that they would all like merge together um so first we took all the pictures and then copied and pasted them onto each other and then changed the opacity so that they would show through and this is the final image <laughs> um i think i would change the pictures that i used so that it would merge better because this kind of doesn't really make any sense but that's it <coughs> all right these are my three photos I chose each one because I thought it would become like a cool picture of this. There's a variety of different things you would expect to go together. Um, and I, I like like how each one has its own like, different subject. And this is the final product. And I like how there's an exit signs on here. You got the wall of dice and the bookcase in the background. And I really like the final product. And I think it looks cool. I chose this image because I like the way it turned out, and I chose these two images because they were both the two highest quality images from my DC trip. And this was my background, this was layer uh, one, and this was layer two. So for layer two, I changed which mode it was in, and then I turned down the opacity. And then I, for layer one, changed what mode it was so it would be completely see-through. And with the final image, I wish that I had turned up the brightness for some of the other images because it turned out very dark. So this is my explanation of my emphasis project. So first I started cutting out with the head, with the hair. Secondly, I tried to move at the top of the hair with the little ones in it, the little hair, and finally I used the lasso tool for all of this. Finally, I did the arm, and the, po the point of the project was for one to look normal and one black and white. But the subject of the picture and the final one was just to be cut out into picture, I mean, into color. So, this is my final project. I think it looks good. It's a little a picture of my cousin. He's doing a really weird face in it, but I like it. And I like how you can like pick out his the subject, and I think it looks very good. I chose this image because it has texture. This one because it has a background, and this one because it has a clear subject. This is my final image. What I did was I copied and pasted the image with the trees on top of the image with the brick, and then the flower one on top of both of those. I added a blank one underneath. I took the first image and did overlay, and then it adjusted the opacity of the the <coughs> image with the trees and then the image with the flower. I really like how it turned out. The only thing I would change would probably be the opacity of the second image and maybe make it a little bit less so you can see more of the brick. But other than that, I like it. These are the three images I used. I used them because I thought they would look really cool combined. The first thing I did was add all of my images and combine them into one tab. I then changed the transparency of some images and got this result. Oh. This result. I like how the cat looks in the sky. It looks cool, but I feel like the dog kind of throws it off. I would probably pick a different third image if I could change something. Here, are the, these are the three images that I use for this project. Yeah, this image is the background. And what I did was I put these into Photoshop and uh, this one was the background, so I put it as the first layer. I put this, ima this image 
has a second layer, so it's in the middle, and then this image has the foreground, so it's on top. And the final, the final image is this. Okay, these are my three photos that I used, and this one was the one I used to multiply, and this one was overlay, and then I did all that, and this was my final project. Um, I don't think I would change it because it actually kind of all goes together, um, and it looks actually really cool. This is my first picture. <laughs> this is my second picture. And this is my third picture. I chose all these pictures because they mean very much to me. Um, I copy and pasted these pictures onto each other. <laughs> Um, and mess with the uh, settings over here to uh, finally create this masterpiece. Get some angles. For the merge project, I combined a picture of an old Mustang and then a picture I took of a book and a picture of Lake Michigan and when you combine the pictures you copy and paste them onto each other and then you can change the opacity of the pictures and I ended up with this. I think it turned out really cool. I love the way the book looks and the colors. Project, I combined these three pictures and the reason I chose them chose them is because they all have V's in nearby areas. The process for doing this was combining the three pictures, keeping the first the same, second 60% opacity and multiplied, and then the final image is overlaid to make the others visible. The final image is shown here. This is my merge project. For my merge project, I combined these three pictures right here into Photoshop. And I got this picture right here. Oh, I think it's pretty dope. Got the number one picture of Royale. You can see the eyes in the background. And you got the person. I think it's pretty cool. So what I did is, I started off the base layer on this. Then I cropped this down to fit on to this with this. And then I use the tools by making this one multiple eye, putting it at 60, and making this one a mirror display and putting it at 30. And that's how I ended up with this. I think it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Okay, so this is my final image. That I, I used. I used This picture of the background. I use the sunglasses. And I also use this red carpet. And the reason why I picked it because the background with the basketball going in and both the red and the sunglasses I thought it looked really cool.